Hey guys, Dimitri here. Welcome to uh, Roofing Insights Tuesday Tip. So today I want to talk really quick about certifications. Um, should you become a certified uh, contractor for any brand out there? One thing about a roofing certification, it's not like auto certification. If you want to become a mechanic and you want to fix Mercedes-Benz cars, they're going to send you to the school for like a year or two years and then you're going to come back and you know exactly how to work on Mercedes-Benz cars. Well. In the uh, roofing industry, it's a little bit different. Uh, manufacturers look at um, certifications more as you become their dealer versus installers think they become professionals. So I've personally been certified for quite a few brands. They've never teach me how to do, how to install their product. I've never uh, attended any hands-on training and also um, they've never seen any of my work. So what scares me is I'm kind of guy, I want to do it right. I want to read it, I want to read instructions and things like that. And there's a lot of guys who don't know what they're doing. Uh, they don't know the difference between one brand and another, nailing patterns and things like that. One thing here uh, on this event where we are, we're talking about nailing zone and there's line and uh, roofers were asked to nail a shingle and they just go by the line instead of common bond zone things like that it's <laughs> it's number one mistake right but you have to be trained not to make that mistake so if you thinking to become a certified ask what it is there for you are you gonna get a training are you gonna are they gonna inspect your work i love what duralize did what duralize did it's a flat roof manufacturer and they put in place system when they um, go and inspect your jobs in order to issue the warranty for their roofs. Uh, they inspect your work and they rank their installer. So every installer get ranked per job. So I think it's 100 points and let's say you get like 92 because you were sloppy around the corners, you know, things like that. And I love it. I think other manufacturers should um, learn from it and maybe adopt something similar because if you allow me to put name on your product and I issue your warranties but you've never seen my jobs why are you doing it and the answer for me is because most manufacturers see us as a dealers not as professionals necessarily they, they recognize our numbers the more you sell the higher your rank is and companies who sell one brand or like some kind of elite status with that brand usually sell 80% of more of those shingles. So be careful. If you want to become a certified, it's great. So I think certification is great. I think both manufacturers have to work a little bit on their process and why they're doing it and a little bit more on the training and making us roofers accountable. And also roofers need to understand that becoming certified, yes, it does, you know, gives you a little bit more power to sell the product, but it doesn't make you a better installer. So hope it helps guys if you're new in business and you know I would like to keep making this YouTube videos every Tuesday if you have any questions you want me to cover just comment below um, let's have a conversation let's make roofing great again